This map shows a 1,500 acre plot of land that could become the next big thing in Molino. Homes, apartments, businesses, and a school, all part of a developer's plan that could more than triple the community's population. WEAR Shadi Ray joining us in the studio tonight and Shadi, the county commissioner for that area, telling people not to judge too quickly before these meetings about to start. District 5 Commissioner Stephen Barry says this is just a request that's being heard by the Escambia County Planning Board and later the commissioners. So I wouldn't jump to any conclusions about what's going to happen or what's not going to happen out there. And this is our board, you know, here's the matter. Commissioner Stephen Barry is talking about a proposed 1,500 acre development in Molino. The developer is Exit 3 Investments and wants to build more than 2,300 townhomes and apartments and another 2,000 single-family homes in an area that will be called Woodland Park. Our partners at NorthEscambia.com sharing a map that lays out the entire project that would also include a fire station and a school. The requested areas include the intersection of Highway 29 and Highway 196. The developer's rezoning request will be reviewed by the Escambia County's planning board tomorrow during a public meeting. The hearings don't determine what's actually going to go. You know, they don't actually determine what's going on the property. It determines what the what the entitlements will be. There are already entitlements on the property for development. You know, the planning board will hear the request tomorrow. They'll make a recommendation to our board. We, we will hear it on August third. Some community members support the idea. I think it's good for the economy. I think it's good for the community. Uh, you know, everybody likes to move north to get away from the city and all that. And She's growing. But others think it's not necessary. Plus, the residents that I know that live up here, Barron Oak Park Road and Molina Road, they want to keep a small community. They like it small. They want to keep it that way. There's really no infrastructure on the roads and stuff to support 2,000 houses and 2,300 townhomes. We, we don't have the, the roads. The roads are not supporting that now. The planning board's public meeting is scheduled for tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. to discuss the rezoning. Live in the studio, Shadi Ray, WEAR News.